Hundreds of UNT students filled Library Mall, expressing frustration with UNT allowing a Jewish student organization to host a Zoom call with Israel Defense Forces. You know, what, what, this is not something that we asked for. This is not something that the majority of students asked for. Following the announcement of this event, the Palestine Solidarity Committee decided to take action. On Wednesday, over 100 students gathered to protest against the event hosted by the Jewish organization. Palestinian students protested for UNT to cancel the event because they believed the university was accepting war criminals. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a disgrace, it's shameful. Uh, these are people that have literally murdered innocent Palestinians every single day. I mean, they bomb them, they kill them, they, saw, they slaughter them. And the fact that they're on this campus without any sort of pushback from administration, I mean, that just shows that the people that are supposed to represent us, they don't actually care. Um, and we need to completely go against that. We need to stand against that. We cannot allow that to happen here. While Palestine supporters protested outside, inside the University Union was where the IDF soldiers Zoom call took place with numerous security guards lining up outside of the venue for safety reasons. However, there were only a few people in attendance because boycotters purchased most of the tickets. A Jewish high school student named Brendan Heger made a 40 minute drive to attend the event, but he wasn't allowed to enter the venue. Um, I, I feel, feel attacked, it's, it's personal. This isn't, um, pro anything, this is a question and answering, and you can get answers, anyone can ask questions. Although boycotters ruined the opportunity for Brandon, he shared some message to them. Um, instead of not showing up at all, you might as well go in, ask questions yourself. Even if they might come off as passive aggressive, you'll get answers. They'll give you answers, maybe not what you're looking for, but um, you can figure out what they're doing in, in, in Aza and, and anywhere. And, and on the borders, you can see what's really going on instead of uh, looking at social media, you can get a, uh, a primary source. From NGTV News, this is Jordan Lindsay.